So we're not this is the It's gonna be page uh, one twenty one, number nine. Alright, so remember that I'm just gonna read it and discuss. Alright, so oxidation can be defined as an increase in the oxidation number of an element due to the loss of electrons, and reduction as a decrease in oxidation number of an element due to the gain of electrons. Explain how this statement applied in each of the following equations. So, our I have 2 I minus AQ. 2 I minus AQ produce I2 AQ plus 2 electron, right? 2 Alright, so this is saying that we have to explain how this statement applies in each case that the increase in oxidation number is due to the loss of electrons. Alright, no. So, or the decrease in oxidation number is due to the gain of electrons. Alright, so it simply means that oxidation state of iodine in this case is minus 1, over here is 0. Clear? So what's happening here is that the I minus we are seeing an increase in oxidation number, right? From, 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 from minus one. Right, let me erase to this. Zero. Let me just erase. Put this a little lower so we get this space. number increase from minus 1 to 0 right and in the process we, we one mole of electron per mole of I minus N was lost, right? We have the 2 here because it's 2 I minus to produce 1 mole of the iodine like aqueous plus electron, right? And you can see that in this equation it would be a 2 to 1 to 2 because remember that whenever we form the atom or the, the, the iodine it will form the atomic molecule that's how it exists in nature right so as you can see oxidation number increase electron loss okay in this case the oxidation number of Fe3 plus decrease from plus 3 to plus 2 and in the process one electron Alright, so as you can see if the oxidation state, if the oxidation number decreases, it's also equivalent to gain in electrons. 
All right. So can you these two to justify that? All right. Metals can behave both as oxidizing and reducing agent. So use this example, right? No. So when we talking about oxidizing and reducing agent, the best thing for us is to first calculate the oxidation number of all the atoms or ions in these compounds or element. That's the best thing to do, right? So in this case, Zn plus 2, oxygen minus 2, okay? In this case, carbon is 0, Zn in this case is equal to 0, carbon in this case, oxygen in this case is equal to what? Let me see oxygen if I remember the rules. Minus so, oxygen in compounds, because if it's in the oxygen gas, it's zero. But in compounds, oxygen is always minus two, except in peroxide, which is minus one. So in this case, it's not a peroxide, it's minus two. This simply means that the carbon now would have to be plus. Plus? It's two oxygen. So this is, go back to. And this is carbon plus. 2 here times minus 2 equal to 0. You have to know how to do this in the test today. You know. This is the charge on the compound. The minus 2 is the charge on the oxygen. But we have 2 oxygen, 2 oxide. So that is why this 2 here is the number of them. While the minus 2 is the charge on each oxide. Right? This is carbon plus Minus 4, so you in maths 2 minus 2 is minus 4 equal to 0. C minus 4 equal to 0. Oxidation number of carbon is plus 4. So don't get confused if you see like that. So this is plus 4. Right, so they are saying that. Non-metals can be able as oxidizing and reducing agents. All right. Now, so the non-metals in this case are oxygen and carbon, right? We can know that zinc is a metal. So if we talk specifically talking about non-metals in this case, they're referring to the oxygen and the carbon. All right. All right. So what's an oxidizing agent? So oxidizing agent is the one that increases the oxidation number. Good. The one that causes the next compound to increase in oxidation number. So in this case, what which compound increase in oxidation number? Uh so I see. Good. So carbon. Carbon was oxidized. The oxidation number increased from zero, so this is carbon here, right? Two plus four. So the carbon was oxidized, right? In this case, it simply means that what would be the oxidizing agent then? Therefore, zinc 
Zede. Tu plus. Oh, it's a uh, auto man. Now I can be able to oxidize and reduce in agent. Use right. it in the Alright, so in this case. Oxidizer. So, the carbon moved from zero to plus four, it was oxidized. So it was oxidized by the. I didn't sorry why they put this like this, but it's definitely oxidized by the this component over here. So, why did they put it like what's there? Because they were stating here that the non metals can behave as both oxidizing and reducing agent. Use the following reaction to support this statement. Alright, well, uh, let's just see first. All right? So it simply means that uh, the, the zinc move from 2 plus to Zn0 okay? decrease. From plus two to zero. So it was reduced, right? And the carbon in this case is acting as a reducing agent. This is how the question is saying. Let's move on to part two. Because I don't believe that they, they didn't want this one here. It's just the this for this equation, they only want to show that the non-metal here, carbon, can act as a reducing agent. That's specifically what they want here. Alright? Let's move on to equation number two to get the concept about oxidizing and reducing agent in non-metals. This equation is chlorine gas. Plus potassium bromide plus AQ. And you also KCl plus bromine liquid. Uh -huh. AQ. We need a tool here as so. well. Alright. No. Let's calculate the, the oxidation number for all the elements here. So here chlorine is zero, element in its free state, zero, right? Potassium here and and Br. So that's the rule here. For monatomic ion, the it's oxidation number is the charge on the ion. So this is a plus one, minus one. Following same principle here. Potassium is equal to plus one, chlorine equal to minus one. Element in their free state, zero. Okay? So it simply means that uh, the chlorine move from zero to minus one, so the chlorine would have been reduced, all right? Sedation. The bromine bro will act as the, the. Yeah, we soon get to that. Decrease from zero to minus one, right? So it was reduced. Alright, so it simply means that the bromine would have been acting as the oxidizing agent. As a reducing agent, sorry. So chlorine. 0 to minus 1 was reduced. So the Br minus the agent is the one that would cause something to reduce. Alright? 
while BR minus increase from minus one to zero. Right? Therefore chlorine is active oxidizing agent. Alright, it's time for the